The Farmer's Cooperative Banjang Sheng is one of my favorite sheng pours of all time. It takes a lot of care to brew it right, but when you get it, the thick, nutty, tingling sensation that you get out of the tea is absolutely rewarding. I want to just show you. This is about two and a half grams of tea. You can see how small that is. It's not much at all. Um, the easy mistake with this tea is to use too much. Most sheng pours you can use four grams, you won't run into trouble. This one is so potent, this wild pig tea, that it just doesn't need that much. So put that in the gaiwan. Um, we're going to use hot water. So I have mine at 212 degrees. Uh, you're going to need a pitcher, a gaiwan, strainer, and cups. I'm pouring the water sort of along the edges to introduce it slowly. And if your tea is in a clump, like the one that I showed you, you'll want to sort of move it around a little bit. Um, you can even take a fork, sort of break it apart. Um, after three to four seconds of swishing it around, pour this out. This is a wash. We're not going to drink the first steeping. Uh, for any sheng pour, it can be a little intense. So we're going to use this actually to warm up the cups, get them to the right temperature and to warm up the bottom of the gaiwan I'm pouring along the base right here. Dump that out. This is a fun time to smell the tea, so if you have guests over, pass around the gaiwan with the wet leaves. Let everybody smell it. They'll really start to think about what it's going to taste like. It builds the anticipation. So, boiling water again. Pouring along the edge of the gaiwan. All the way up to the top. Replace the lid. One, two, three, and we pour out. And that is more than enough time for the farmer's co-op. Uh, it's actually going to take about four steepings for the ball to break apart entirely, but once it does, you're going to get even stronger steepings. So at the beginning, you might be doing three, four seconds. After it breaks apart, you might find yourself cutting back to two to three seconds, and then I'd say you could get at least 15, 20, even 25 steepings out of the farmer's co-op. You're just going to be increasing it a little bit each time. Now, if you don't have a gaiwan, a pitcher, all the Chinese stuff for brewing, don't worry about it. Um, you can also use just any cup that you have at home. Find a small cup, though. Um, we're going to try to mimic Chinese-style brewing here, so we're going to be using a small vessel. I've already prepared the same amount, about two, two and a half grams of tea. Place it into the cup. If you've got a pitcher style boiler, pour it right in. Otherwise, I'm going to dispense the boiling water uh, sort of along the edge of the cup. Swirl it around for a second. Take it out and dump that. That's a rinse. Replace the leaves. Smell it if you want. It smells really fragrant and delicious after that wash. So I fill up this cup about halfway. This is maybe four ounces of water. Swish it around, one, two, three. Take that out and you're going to have a really potent cup. You can see it already has color. Once again, steeping like this, simulated Chinese style brewing, 15 to 20 steepings. Have fun. I hope you enjoy this tea as much as I do.